Salam kana, hello Wopanden. Today I'm taking you a little bit through Sofia. Sofia is not only the capital of Bulgaria, but also of course my second home. For sure one of the biggest attractions in Sofia is the Cathedral Alexander Nevsky, which is one of the 50 largest church buildings, Christian church buildings in the world. Alexander Nevsky was a Russian prince and a saint and the church was not only built in honor of him but also in honor of the Russian soldiers who died in the war against um, yeah, the Turkish Ottoman uh, Empire, which liberated Bulgaria from their reign. Next we visited the National Palace of Culture in the K, where, yeah, well, I'm showing off my skills with the umbrella of course, and my wife is enjoying the park and the beautiful flowers. Hey, by the way, we recorded this video back in 2022 during the time of the pandemic. So if you see us wearing masks or something, it's not about because of the pollution, but yeah, because of the time. The Naga shawl proved to be the perfect accessory for this weather. And so we continued to the Vitusha Boulevard, which is exactly next to the park. The Vitusha Boulevard is yeah, one of the biggest boulevards uh, in Bulgaria. And um, yeah, it's a very vibrant place where you can find a wide range of shops, cafes and restaurants. After a quick lunch break, we passed another palace and also yeah, an Italian restaurant that for some weird reason thought it is a good idea to have pumpkins, lots of pumpkins as decoration and headed to the next famous church, which is called Svetane Delia. The Cathedral Svetane Delia is also known as the Holy Sunday Cathedral. It is an important religious and cultural landmark in Sofia and attracts visitors from around the world, who come to admire its architecture and learn more about history. The cathedral is dedicated to the resurrection of Jesus Christ are you happy? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Okay, let's have a last look of the outfit of the day of my wife and then let's go inside. So, the cathedral has a richly decorated interior, which you can see, with beautiful frescoes, icons and ornate decorations that showcase traditional Orthodox Christian art. Oh yeah, which by the way dates back several hundred years. Well, and this is the parliament. Yeah. And here the politic stuff happens and also in this building. I'm such a good tour guide who does not know so much about politics, but yeah, let's go quickly to the next attraction. Here you are from the Roman Empire, from Reunions of Roman Empire. Yeah. We can go down and then there will be explanations. As I said, best tour guide ever. So they were discovered while they were building the underground train. Oh wow, interesting. Oh wow, so they discovered this while they were excavating. Yeah. They were not excavating actually, they just wanted to no, make wanted an underground. To build Oh wow! Uh, yeah, what? instead of changing the plan with the underground, they yeah. integrated it into their plans. Wow! As you can see, this is not your average normal metro station. Instead of billboards and platform, passengers arriving at Sofia's Zerdika metro station are greeted with stylish glass cases displaying some of the city's finest prehistoric and ancient artifacts. Guess what? Before the Ottoman Empire, well, Bulgaria was also ruled, uh, ruled, of course, by the Romans. And yeah, this is what is uh, left over, which was discovered while building the metro station. Definitely an archaeological highlight of our trip in Sofia. Oh wow, the drainage system was also very much well organized. They were using tiles from centuries ago. Ah, uh, these are like small, small rooms or... And it's like very huge. Uh, 
the house of a magistrate. Wow. The largest building. Yeah. Approximately 950 square meter. So guys, this was my first time in Sofia and thanks to my husband, I got to fall in love with this beautiful city. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye.